I'm going to review for you today a wig that I've been wearing all week and I have several posts on my Instagram account so this is the full review but if you want to see how I was wearing it and where I wore it to check out on my link tree you can go over to my Instagram account. This is Reese from Noriko and Reese from Noriko this is in the color Sandy Silver. Look how this color goes from brown with silver gray in it, just the lightest amount, this medium brown, all the way up to silver in the front. And I hear you ladies a lot of times say, this is my natural way, my hair is growing out, I have brown in the back, silver in the front, where can I find one? Well, this is a great color, the Sandy Silver from Norica. And I've just been wearing her all week long. It is so comfortable. What I love about this wig and wigs like this, it's a basic cap. So often we think that we have to have a hairline because we want to wear it back. And that is good when, with the lace hairline, when you want it off your face and back, that it appears to be a real hair growing out of your scalp. But if you got bangs and you have fringe, you don't need that. And I find that these caps with this velvet here in the front are so comfortable. I don't get that itchy after several hours. It can get kind of itchy a little bit across here. It can fray. So a wig cap like this and a basic wig cap with this velvet, this felt in the front, is going to be a workhorse. You need a wig that you are going to work in a lot. You're going to wear it for eight hours a day. Go with a wig like this. So comfortable. It's so comfortable. And it really cuts down on the cost of your wig, too. So it's very economical and affordable. So this one is your standard open with. Really cool. I went to a football game. Um, my granddaughter cheers for a football team. And I went to that. And it was 92 degrees in Texas. And it did not get hot. It was super air flows through here. And then... Um, the nape in the back doesn't have velvet. It's more of just a lace nape and it has the bra strap adjusters. And again, the hairs, see this ear tab. I love it when they have the hair sewn right into the ear tab for very natural hairline look around your face. She's a workhorse. She is beautiful. Let's go ahead and put her on. And you know how we put it on. Just hold it at the nape, drop your head into it like a bucket. And put her on. Oh, wait a second, I gotta go back. This had combing instructions. It came with combing instructions. You know what it said to do? Take it by the nape of the neck and shake, shake, shake. Because you know it comes in a box and you shake it. Just give that this wig. This has permatease in it. This is a wig for volume and fun. It's it's classy, it's spiky, it's however you want it to be. I'm gonna show you some options with that. So, okay, now we've shook her like that. They even said run your fingers like this. Run your fingers through the fibers, right? Back up a little bit more, for, but just run your fingers and really wake up all of that. Because it has permatease, you're not gonna get a scalp hairline because this is a spiky volume hairstyle. Let's put it on again. And look at that. I just love this color. And you know what? I'm telling you what. The last couple of days, I went to Target. I went, took my dad this morning to a doctor's appointment and on the elevators in the doctor's office. Um, everybody from a young girl at Target yesterday to some older ladies, right? They were like, oh, I love your haircut. Oh, I love your haircut. Where can, where can I get that? I said, oh, you can have it too. It's a wig. <laughs> so, you know, I get compliments often on my wigs, but this one, wow, it has just come from nowhere. And just strangers wanting to immediately respond to this haircut. So it looks very natural. Look at this. Now, what you're going to see, I'm going to get my glasses, is if you see on my Instagram, because I've already done it, I trimmed them. So the bangs or fringe on this when you get it out of the box, they came more like, they were all more like this, about here, right? To my nose, so you could sweep it over and wear it just like that, but I like a little fringe. I'm gonna give you a tip. I wear glasses, maybe a lot of you do too, or sunglasses. We all probably wear one or the other. And what I did was I measure where, people always say, well, how'd you do the fringe? And I've already done it on this, but it's so easy. Put your glasses on, 
comb your hair down and then trim them just right above the rim of your glasses. If you will do that, because, you know, later on, you, you kind of trim them, trim them a little bit. Not, don't pull a lot down because it's not natural to have a heavy bang, I don't think. I like a, a lighter bang like this. And then pull some out so you get that little side fringe. See the great ear tuck on this? Yes, ladies, great ear tuck. And you can kind of run your fingers through it and slick it down. But what I really like, isn't that a cute side view? So cute. What I like it is that you can really zhuzh it up. That's our word, right? Zhuzh it up. And you can really get your fingers in there and just really get this height and volume. Some ladies just really like the volume. It can really be flattering on your face. So sorry for the ring light, my glasses. I'll take them off soon. But okay, so position all of this in here, kind of where you want it. Pull down just a light bangs, right? And then get, get your scissors. And I start, I like to leave some out here over the edge of my glasses, my these arms, and then just trim and just chip, 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 and right in there. So easy to do. It's not scary if you just, if they're this long, then trim to here, and then trim to here, and then trim to here. And now see that you've got the right amount there that you're happy with, and you'll do fine. You'll do great. There's so many videos you can watch to do that. Okay, so this is Reese from Noriko, and again, I'm gonna show you the side view. I really like the nape on this. Really kind of elongate your neck. And that's the back view. And she can be kind of spiked up, you know, flipping in the back, or you can really slick it down. Again, this is gonna be one you can slick it down, just take your fingers in there, or your large tube comb, come through it and see if that's more your look that you want a more natural look to it, just run your fingers through it. You're gonna see in this wig little return hairs, but this is kind of has to do with the permatease. It's the part of the wig that gives it that volume, okay? So that you can get back in there and pull it up, right? And those little return type of hair, shorter hairs in there, are supposed to be there to get you this cute, really volumized, layered look. If you don't like that, one of the things that you can do is take this Tressalure wig wax, spray it on there. That's going to allow you to really get the volume. Or lightly, once you get the volume where you want it, or the style, you can run your just lightly pass your hand over it and if there's too many little hairs sticking up that's going to smooth it down so that's a little tip on how to do that but then you can go back in with this wig wax and really get a lot of volume i love this this is reese from noriko and be sure i'm going to be doing another wig very soon that will be coming to you. This is from wigs.com and I'll post another review. I've got a lot of wigs to show you, great wigs for the fall and going into winter that I wanna review for you. So be sure, be sure and hit the follow and hit the like so that you can always get notifications to get all my reviews. So I'll see you in the next video. Do my darlings, bye.